Hey, Stephen, what's happening? Ah, oh, not much. Just hanging out. What about you? Ah, I'm heading off to a concert. Should be really cool. So that was an example of how to start a conversation by asking someone how they are. In this video, we're going to look at 12 different ways to ask people how they are and some common responses. So first we have the how questions. How are you? Or sometimes, how are you? How's it going? Or how's it going? How have you been? How have you been? How's life? We could say, how's life? Or often people say, how's life treating you? Or how's life been treating you? So really, is everything good in your life? Everything okay? How are you doing? Or how are you doing? How are you doing? That one's a little bit shortened. So instead of how are you doing, just how you doing? How are you doing? Or how are you? How are you doing? How are you going? Or again, the shortened form. How are you going? How are things? Now, let's look at some responses. So these responses, they kind of go from feeling the worst to feeling the best. So of course, that depends on uh, the speaker. So everyone has their own preferences and their own way of saying things and their favorite expressions to say as well. Not so good, actually. Not so good, actually. So I'm not feeling well. Not so good. Our body language is down. So maybe things in life aren't so good. And you have some problems, a lot of problems, a lot of stress at work, or some really difficult situations. I've been better. I've been better. So if things aren't so good, they could be better. Surviving. Surviving. And again, this one means that, yeah, things are a bit difficult, but you're getting through. You're gradually maybe getting better. Hanging in there. Hanging in there. Maybe you've seen the posters with the kitten on the line, hanging in there, getting there, getting there. So this one's used really when somebody knows we've had some problems, maybe some health issues, and you're starting to gradually feel better. So getting there, a bit tired, but we could say, for example, a bit tired, but not too bad. So with this one, we're saying something negative, but so there's some positive too. Then of course there's Okay, okay, and this depends how you say it. Okay, so not so good, or oh, okay, meaning not too bad. All right, all right, and this is very similar to okay. All right, not bad, not bad. So some people don't like to say things are great, so often this is a very common one. Not bad, and I use this one a lot too. A pretty good, pretty good. So this does have some different meanings. So pretty good means things are good, or ah, oh, pretty good. So if we go up there, ah, oh, pretty good means things are great. Can't complain. Can't complain. So life's pretty good. There's nothing, no serious worries, nothing to complain about. Ah, fine. Fine. So fine is probably overused, but it is a good expression. That means there's nothing to complain about. There are no real serious problems. Then of course we just have good. Oh, I'm good. And of course great. Yeah, I'm great. So fine, good and great are very common expressions. And now we have one that isn't used so much. Couldn't be better. So imagine yeah, things are really good in your life. Ah, it couldn't be better. Your work's going well, your social situations are going well. You know, you've got enough money, everything's good. Awesome, I'm awesome. So it means really, really good. And fantastic, fantastic. So this is when something really good has happened. So maybe you've just got a promotion at work, or you've won the lottery, you're going on a fantastic vacation or something. So these last three means things are really good. Couldn't be better, awesome. Fantastic. The responses that you give really depend on your personality. So people of generally different ages, different generations, different cultural backgrounds, living in different areas, often in specific areas, people like to use specific expressions. Also, the intonation is very important. So it's important to listen for that. That will give you a big clue on how the person is. So listen for a rising intonation or uh, maybe a flat intonation or a lowering intonation. Now, let's look at some what questions. What's happening? What's happening? What's up? What's up? Well, often, what's up? What's up? There was a very famous beer commercial in the US, uh, I'm gonna say in the 90s. What's up? What's up? And this expression was popularized a lot from that commercial. What's up? What have you been up to? Or what have? What have you been up to? What have you been up to? What's new? What's new? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Now, some common responses to what questions, they're a little bit different to the how questions. So you could say, not much, not much. So there's not much uh, that's exciting or important that's happening in your life right now. Oh, not a lot, not a lot. And again, so there's not a lot of things that are happening in your life right now. 
not a lot of exciting or important things. And then same old, same old, same old, same old. And this is an expression to say that life is the same as it usually is. So you're just going to work, you know, catching up with friends, doing the usual things in your life. Same as usual, same as usual. So again, it's like same old, same old. So just that you're doing the usual things that you do in your life. The usual, the usual. And again, this is like same as usual, but a shortened form. Just been chilling, just been chilling. So chilling, just relaxing, you know, just been relaxing. Just been relaxing at home, watching TV, doing whatever. Oh, I went to, so maybe, oh, I went to this amazing restaurant last night. It was really nice. So, oh, we just remember something or remember something exciting that happened. Of course, it's always polite to ask the other person how they are too. So now let's look at some expressions to show how we can do that. What about you? What about you? How about you? Or sometimes shortened to how about. How about you? And you? And you? How about yourself? How about yourself? Thanks for asking. And this one we could add extra information to. Thanks for asking. How about yourself? Now let's put it all together with some imagined conversations. So imagine you're walking down the street and you see one of your friends. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. And you? Ah, oh, great. I got that job that I went for last week. I'm so happy. And then of course you get more information and continue the conversation. Hey, Matt, how have you been? Oh, not too bad. I'm moving house, so it's been a bit hectic. How about you? Okay, just been chilling mostly. Jen, what's up? Oh, same as usual. Mostly work. What about you? Oh, I've been preparing for my trip overseas. I'm really looking forward to it. Hey, Sarah, what have you been up to? Oh, I just got married. Really? Congrats. So how's married life treating you? Hey, how are things? Fantastic. We just bought our dream house by the ocean. How about yourself? Oh, I've been working hard, so, you know, I'm a bit tired. But, well, finally, that's it for this video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and you learnt some different ways to start a conversation by asking someone how they are. Now go out and use it. If you'd like to see more videos, then please support me. It all helps. So please like, subscribe and comment on how you like to ask people how they are. Or if you have any other suggestions or ideas, then write in the comments below. Thank you and see you in the next video.